Yo, 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 what is going on guys, Audi Stocks here. Today we have an AMC Strictly AMC stock price prediction video and we're gonna cover up a few things. All I ask you guys to do is smash the like and we are working on something behind the scenes and I can't wait to show you guys what it is. So guys, without further ado, you know, whatever, if you find the content valuable, if you like what I have to share for you guys, just consider smashing that like. That's all I ask. Let's get into it. everybody today we are going to start the video off with lmnop no this is not a real stock okay this was um a pump to get the twitter bots out there to pump a fake company and it actually worked uh you don't have to worry about anything about this you're not missing the train on anything you can scroll through twitter and find a million tweets about lmnop and you're probably wondering what it is don't worry about it okay it was to expose twitter bots so that is not a real stock. Let's just clear that up and get that out of the way. Now, the next thing I want to look at is the short exempts drying up on AMC. As you guys can see, the last one reported to us was 90,000. And this is a good thing to pay attention to, okay? You do want to see these drying up. Now, we're going to go over here and take a look at the AMC chart. Today, we had a green day. Okay, which was very surprising. And why was that surprising? Because the SPY uh, was bloody red. The SPY was absolutely bloody red and AMC went green. This is a, uh, a single sign right here of the negative beta that AMC pushes. Now, this hasn't been a real thing uh, for quite a while for the negative beta, right? The whole negative beta side of things, right? But the fact that we had a green day and the SPY is red is a bullish thing for us, in my opinion. Now, there is one thing that I wanted to take a look at, and I don't really go over this, uh, but it is a good indicator to show how many people are still holding AMC, if this does help you guys. This is the OBV, the on balance volume. And as you guys can see, we are still almost hitting uh, the new highs, okay? This has not dropped so this is a good indicator to see how many people are still actually holding their shares in this company. So guys, apes are not giving up. So whether you think some people give up or whatever, uh, that is not the case. You can tell just by the data. Um, okay, what does this green day mean to us uh, from the technical perspective, from a cycle perspective? Now, I wanted to take a look at a few things, right? If I remove these cycle lines here, you're going to see uh, that there's two left. Okay, and these are the ones that I personally put here because I thought it was actually very interesting the way AMC actually traded. Okay, we're going to switch over to the one hour chart uh, just so we can take a look at this from a different perspective. Okay, um, I think this is actually nuts uh, the way these cycles are running through. And I think this is where it was some sort of a start of it, right? Where market makers really gained control. And uh, this is it, right? This is it. So obviously, Trey's theory puts, okay, puts right here when the stock was dropping from, uh, you know, $65, $70 all the way down to 32 Calls got cheaper, right? You saw the little rip. And this is where I believe uh, some sort of cycle started to take place. And the reason I say that is because if you take a look at how identical this is, right? Take a look at this right here. I'll zoom in for you guys a bit, right? this okay this part and then uh i'm gonna delete that so you guys can see it right we'll circle it okay this part matches uh pretty pretty significantly right here okay this is where i believe was some sort of part of the cycle that you did see right so let's get those off the screen and then just follow along from there right if you follow along from there this is what you're ultimately going to see right you're going to see a section Okay, section, and then you're going to see section, section, okay, with the sell-off, the sell-off, and then ultimately the chop is basically the same, right? You see this part, this little piece right here, ultimately the chop is about the same exact thing you saw, okay? And then you have this section, this section, and then you have... Uh, bang, sell-off, right? Bang, sell-off, bounce. Uh, this was more of a longer sell-off than I would have anticipated, right? Or you could have just called this the sell-off, this the bounce. And then um, where we're at now, right, is a start of some sort of different type of cycle here. But just the way they line up is very, very interesting. And what this would mean for us, right, what this would mean for us in the coming days, to me, 
well let's let's just pan this out right so let's say uh you have this section right here the sell-off 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 uh you would be coming up to this point where we peaked sold off peaked sold off and of course uh obviously you know this has been said but the fact that you got the green that you wanted to see on the daily chart right this does line up with where we would bounce okay this does line up with where we would bounce and also i think this is even more pretty than the last one right the last leg up right here the beginning of it uh the reason being is because check this out right you have this nine month downtrend this nine month period of continuous downtrend and you get a breakout okay and the healthiest thing you could have saw was a come down to retest the overall trend line and get a bounce off of it. And what did you see, right? You saw exactly that right on the overall trend line. So guys, what is the basic uh, understanding of this? Sorry, the laptop is getting a little heated. If you guys hear background noise, I apologize. But what you can take from this, ultimately, in my opinion, right, this could be completely wrong. And I'm sorry if it is, but I do think Come the next few days, you could see a decent decent rip, a decent move, right? Uh, you know, I'm not going to say that it's going to be necessarily 500%. It could be, uh, but I do think that you're going to see some sort of nasty move. Now, how is this, how is this green when the SPY is red, right? Uh, I want to take a look at a few things, okay? Because every single day it's like there's a new person talking about how technical analysis does not exist with amc but overall you can clearly see cycles and ta working on a daily basis right if you just take a look at the basics of it right these white lines you see here okay this was uh let's see let me remove these so you guys have a better understanding right so this is the straight move up okay this is the trend line back here that you see following the trend line, following the trend line. And right here, you get a bounce, okay? Bounce perfectly off of it, right? And then a break below. Okay, that is now no longer valid, right? But once you break support, it acts as resistance. What happened? It come up and it acted as resistance. You got rejected at this overall trend line. And the fact that you broke out of what would you call the newer one, right? Because this is the overall uptrend of the stock. Uh, when you break below that, this is the overall downtrend of the stock. Now you broke up and you actually came to hug it and get a perfect bounce off of this. So anyone who says TA uh, is not applicable for AMC is false, in my opinion. Now it's not 100%, right? But it does definitely help out. Um, ultimately, guys, the last thing we could really take a look at is right here, you have the Weeble pulled up. This is the very simplistic side of things. Um, take a look at where we are, okay? Take a look at where we are. Uh, this is the respective trend line, right? Either one of these, either one of these, you can call the respective trend line, the yellow or the white. Now, take a look at where we're at. Now, if we scroll, remember, we're on the 30 minute chart. Now we're gonna scroll over here to the same time where if, if, right? If we're going off based off of cycles where this would actually line up, okay? And it would be here, right? This is the, the respect of the overall trend line. And this is exactly where we would be, okay? We got this break below. Uh, it's not respecting it. And then this is where I do think uh, this is where we're at in the cycle, right? That's why I do think you could see a nice, decent push. Now, I'm not going to let anyone know it's a 500% push because you see a slow gain right here, okay? From 12 uh, to about 14, $2 gain from about 14 to about 16, 17. So about a $3 gain from 17 to 20, $3 gain uh, from you know, 20 to uh, 29, $9 gain, right? You could see these type of moves pretty, pretty soon, uh, especially the fact that this is going against the SPY. Now, if you take a look at this time period, right? Uh, the 24th, we can correlate that. Uh, actually, let's take a look at this chart. Uh, we can correlate that, right? While we're here, just to take a look. Uh, 24th, let's see, 24th, okay? Um, this was actually when the spy was on some sort of this little rebound here. So this is interesting to see, okay? This is inter interesting to see where um, AMC is going against the spy. I think this is a bullish thing, bullish indicator. Why is the spy falling? Uh, there's FOMC meeting coming up. They're thinking about raising rates by 50 basis points, which would be uh, 0.5 or like half percent. So 
that is that is really the quick update. Uh, I don't really have much to go over. Remember, LMNOP is not a stock, guys. If you appreciate this video at all, please consider smashing that like. Check the links in the description if you guys want five free stocks worth up to $3,500. Uh, it also gets me them, sell them by AMC uh, or GameStop, etc. I'm also really excited about GameStop and the split coming up. Uh, I don't know when the vote is going to be. I will announce that when I look into it a bit more or if it is now not announced yet. When it is announced, I will put that out there. So guys, consider subscribing. We are almost at 5K. I love you all. Lottery Stocks out.